Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here finally the official RPCS3 Androids version 7.0 has launched but now I want to give you guys a very sad news because just today the developer of RPCS3 has announced that the RPCS3 Android project will be discontinued you will be able to see fork of RPCS3 will be merged with RPCSX RPCS3 Android will be reposted as RPCSX Android UI all further work will be in the scope of RPCSX now here comes an interesting part as you know today is actually April First. so most of the people are saying that it is april fool but in my opinion i don't think that this is going to be april fools because the main developers they wouldn't make such huge announcement they could have just said discontinued and then said april fool so no this is not an april fools prank this is actually legit rpcs3 android will be discontinued after its alpha 7 release but it will be continued as rpcsx which in my opinion is good enough i guess because this is a different type of branding than rpcs3 android now first of all i have already updated my version of rpcs3 android Android to the alpha 7 which was released 2 hours ago. You guys will be able to read some of its change log that uh, implemented custom material switch along with that driver support, implemented emulator state management, add home button as well as scale bitmaps as well as removing game cache when removing the game, initial implementation of overlay editor for on screen touch controls editing which is pretty amazing and fix some minor bugs. With that being said let's start testing out the RPCS3 Android alpha version 7 right away possibly the last version of RPCS3. Android. Here we'll go to edit overlay and you'll be able to see we get editing scale where we can choose okay this is a bit laggy like just take a look at this it's a very weird experience can I downscale it nope so you can change the opacity scale as well as change the positioning of the button so here I'll just go ahead and select R3 well it's not working so I guess nope it's not working so <laughs> I am not really sure how it works we'll just go ahead and skip through that part in terms of settings we'll go to custom GPU driver and here let's just go ahead and select the first which will directly start importing all graphics driver that is available by the official main developer of the Mesa Turnip Adreno driver so you'll be able to see it has all the revisions including the latest 25.0.0 revision 3 and even Snapdragon 8 Elite drivers so we'll just go ahead and skip this because we won't need it as the device which I am using in today's video is my realme gt7 pro which does not have any turnip drivers so we'll go to advanced settings in terms of core as usual make sure to copy these uh, settings where preferred spu thread set it to 2 uh, spu block size set it to save afterwards go to video in terms of vulcan make sure to go ahead and in custom driver make sure to enable turbo mode afterwards let's go back resolution will set it to 720 by 480 aspect ratio 16 is to 9 scroll down msa make sure to disable this option afterwards make sure to turn off write color buffers and read color buffers if you are not emulating games like god of war but if you are emulating it and don't want graphical issues make sure to tick mark these options and also make sure to enable stretch to display area option once that has been done you don't need to edit anything else at least in my opinion we got input output controls all right we also got system controls so yeah guys let's just go ahead and close everything and start testing out our game right away in system info you will be able to see Vulcan driver version as well as snapdragon 8 elite with adreno 830 gpu for today's video i want to try out god of war 3 and home button has also been added as you will be able to see at the top we have the rpcs3 logo which will open up the home screen anyways let's just go ahead and tap on resume game and yeah let's wait until all the process is completed all right here we go guys immediately you will be able to see our game has successfully booted now in the rpcs3 android alpha version 6 there was an issue where the game used to crash now it happened with each and every single game no matter which device you tried uh, it used to crash after the loading in most of the games so let's see if that has been fixed in the rpcs3 android alpha version 7 and i can see the laggy control thing has also been fixed so now the on-screen touch controls are not laggy at all which means this is definitely an improvement and here we go guys our game has successfully started it did not crash and you will be able to see it is actually running pretty smoothly compiling shaders so there will be a second of freeze and there we go god of war 3 has successfully started so this is actually amazing guys we are literally about to emulate god of war and at the top left corner you will be able to see the fps it is pretty decent 30 plus fps because we have decreased the resolution and we have also applied the best settings that i showed you guys now is the moment of truth to see how well does the game actually work and it is anywhere from 10 to 30 fps depending on the scenario but once the shaders are compiled you will be able to see we are actually getting pretty amazing fps even the audio output is actually working very surprising so this is currently i guess the best experience of emulating ps3 game that i have ever gotten on my android device hands down because it is working flawlessly there is no freezing issue there is no crashing issue if you have used a ps3 emulator you know that 
that emulator used to crash at least 10 times whereas now in uh, rpcs3 android it's not crashing there are some freezing issues here and there but it's not a big deal because just take a look at this i am emulating god of war 3 on my android device and it's not even crashing so obviously you will need a flagship high end android device if you want to emulate such triple a playstation 3 games but uh, even if you don't have a flagship device you can definitely emulate low end ps3 games on your android devices Anyways though that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel i'll see you guys next time though thanks for watching peace out